This time, I will be looking at the Genpei War in Japanese history. This was the first time in history that the Japanese samurai fought on opposite sides, with the Taira and Minamoto clans. In the previous article, I discussed the Hogan Rebellion. The Hogan Rebellion, which broke out in 1156, was the first time that samurai intervened in a conflict between aristocrats, and it became a major catalyst for the subsequent rise in the status of samurai. The man who seized power during this period of chaos was Shinzia, a close associate of the Emperor Go Shirakawa. Shinzia's policy was to undermine the power of the Fujiwara clan and to restore imperial rule. To this end, he restricted the manors, which were private territories held by the nobility. Shinzia believed that the emperor was the head of both the private and public manors. The young emperor Go Shirakawa relied heavily on Shinzia, and he came to wield enormous power. In order to have the military power that would be the source of that power, he actively recruited Kiyomori Taira. Shinzia appointed members of the Taira clan to positions of power in various provinces. In this way, the Taira family steadily increased their power and economic base. As Shinzia gained more and more power, he appointed his relatives to important positions in the imperial court. This caused resentment among the powerful Fujiwara clan and other nobles and members of the imperial family. Nariko Fujiwara, the empress of Emperor Toba, inherited most of the manors that Emperor Toba had owned, and became a large-scale manor lord. She raised the eldest son of Emperor Go Shirakawa, Emperor Nijo, from a young age and doted on him. As the last wish of Emperor Toba, she strongly requested Shinziai to transfer the imperial throne to her beloved Emperor Nijo. The influence of Nariko Fujiwara, the empress of Emperor Toba, was strong, and neither Shinziai nor Emperor Go Shirakawa were able to refuse this request. In this way, in 1158, Emperor Nijo ascended the throne, and Emperor Go Shirakawa became a retired emperor. In this way, a situation was created in which the factions of the Nijo Emperor and the retired Emperor Go Shirakawa were opposed to each other. The Nijo Emperor's faction, centered on the Fujiwara clan, which was related to the Emperor, tried to restrict the political actions of the retired Emperor Go Shirakawa. On the other hand, the retired Emperor Go Shirakawa could only rely on Shinzia. However, he also had close ties with Nariko Fujiwara, the Empress of Emperor Toba, so there were limits to how much he could rely on him alone. So the retired Emperor Go Shirakawa gave Noguri Fujiwara a big promotion and rapidly promoted him. Noguri Fujiwara was a man who had close ties with Yoshitomo Minamoto, the leader of the Minamoto clan. While Shinziai was trying to seize power by joining forces with Kimori Taira, Noguri was trying to build up a military base using the Minamoto clan. Shinziai was a reliable person for the retired Emperor Go Shirakawa, but the Emperor gradually came to dislike Shinziai, who wielded great power and appointed his relatives to important positions. For the powerful Fujiwara clan, Shinziai was an enemy who sought to undermine their power. In this respect, both the Fujiwara clan that supported Emperor Nijo and the Fujiwara clan that supported retired Emperor Go Shirakawa saw Shinzia as a common enemy. The two factions of the two emperors were watching for an opportunity to bring Shinzia down. Kiyomori Taira had married his daughter to Shinzia's son, forming a marriage alliance. Kiyomori's shrewdness was such that he had also married his daughter to the son of Noguri Fujiwara. Therefore, Kiyomori tried to remain neutral in the power struggle between Shinziai and the Fujiwara clan. However, despite the apparent strong bond between Shinziai and Kiyomori, the anti-Shinziai faction was unable to act easily. In January 1160, while Kiyomori was away from Kyoto on a pilgrimage to Kumano, the anti-Shinziai faction staged a coup. This was the beginning of the Heiji Rebellion. Noguri Fujiwara led an army and attacked Shinziai. Shinziai escaped, but many of his relatives were captured and exiled. The Kyoto police force was controlled by the Nijo Emperor faction, so it is thought that the Nijo Emperor faction also tacitly approved of this coup. The next day, 
Shinziai killed himself before being captured. Shinziai's head was displayed on a main street in the capital. When he confirmed Shinziai's death, Noguri made significant changes to the personnel of the imperial court. These changes were personnel appointments that placed many people close to Noguri in important positions. Of course, the nobles of the Nijo Emperor's faction were greatly dissatisfied with this personnel decision. However, no one could defy Noguri, as Noguri had Minamoto no Yoshitomo, the leader of the Minamoto clan, under its command. Kiyomori learned of the coup in Kyoto while traveling. He was greatly perturbed and considered fleeing to Kyushu. However, he was persuaded by his subordinates and decided to lead his troops back to Kyoto. Fortunately, Kumano, where he headed, was close to Ais, the stronghold of the Taira clan. He absorbed many nearby samurai and headed for Kyoto. When Minamoto heard the news, he advised Noguri that they should launch an attack before Kimori's army could grow too large, but Noguri refused. His son was married to Kiyomori's daughter, and he thought that Kiyomori would side with him. On the way to Kyoto, Kiyomori gathered many soldiers and tried to return to Kyoto. Yoshitomo Minamoto was horrified by this. He had not anticipated a war with Kiyomori with this coup, and had left many soldiers in his hometown. The Nijo Emperor faction, who were dissatisfied with Noguri Fujiwara, approached Kiyomori and begged him to join their side. Kiyomori agreed. Then, Emperor Nijo secretly fled to Kiyomori Taira's residence in Kyoto. And when the Emperor's escape was successful, he spread the news throughout Kyoto that the Emperor had fled to Kiyomori's residence. When news of this spread throughout Kyoto, many nobles gathered at Kiyomori's mansion. After hearing that the Emperor Nijo had escaped, retired Emperor Go Shirakawa also hurried to Ninaji Temple to take refuge and left Kyoto. Then, Emperor Nijo gave orders to Kiyomori to exterminate Noguri Fujiwara and Yoshitomo Minamoto. Kiyomori became a member of the government army. Noguri Fujiwara fled from Emperor Nijo and retired Emperor Go Shirakawa, and became the rebel army. Kiyomori was worried that the imperial court would become a battlefield, so he cleverly sent his men fleeing so that Yoshitomo Minamoto and his men would attack Kiyomori's residence, and then drew them into his own camp. In order to carry out the coup secretly, Yoshitomo only brought a small number of samurai with him from Kanto, which was his sphere of influence. As a result, he had fewer men than Kiyomori's army. Yoshitomo's army fought hard, but was no match for the power of numbers and was defeated by Kiyomori's army. Yoshitomo fled to the eastern provinces. Noguri Fujiwara was captured by Kiyomori and tried to explain himself, but was executed as the mastermind behind the murder of Shinziai and the coup d'etat. Yoshitomo was killed on his way back to the eastern provinces. His son, Yoritomo Minamoto, was also captured and was about to be executed by Kiyomori. However, Kiyomori's mother felt sorry for the young Yoritomo being killed and pleaded with Kiyomori to spare his life. He listened to his mother's wishes and sentenced Yoritomo to exile. This lenient judgment would later lead to the downfall of the Taira clan. It looked as though Noguri Fujiwara would fall from power and the Nijo faction would take control of the government, but that was not to be. The retired Emperor Go Shirakawa exiled the leader of the Nijo faction for allegedly being rude to him. As a result, the leading nobles of the Shinziai faction, the retired Emperor Go Shirakawa's faction, and the Emperor Nijo's faction were all brought down. As a result, the political leadership became a two-headed system, with the Emperor Nijo and the retired Emperor Go Shirakawa taking control themselves. Kiyomori Taira the greatest benefactor of the rebellion, acted carefully without taking sides. The Tyra clan, the benefactors of the rebellion, were appointed to important positions one after another, and the Tyra's fiefdoms also increased greatly. The Tyra clan was the one who gained the most from this rebellion. Next time, I will explain the rise of the Tyra clan. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel and press the like button.